And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Telly in the Weather Center. Wanted to share a couple of pictures with you. These are a couple of days old, but I've been out for a little while and wanted to share them with you. Kind of neat, I think. They're called rime ice, this effect. Remember that very, very, very cold morning where we had some fog. It was actually freezing fog, and so little water droplets built up on the trees. This is one of the trees at my house and creates what's called rime ice. They look very hard and spiky, actually fairly brittle, but this uh, spikes were pointing toward the north wind. It's kind of a north breeze that morning, and so the little water drops, which droplets would freeze on the branches and then build themselves up and create these little spike patterns called rime ice. And I thought it was kind of neat. thought I would share it with you. Well, that was caused by a chilly north wind. We are going to have windy conditions for the middle part of the week here, but the winds are going to swing around to a more southwesterly direction and speed up. See how the arrows move faster here as we go through the day on Thursday. A little weak boundary dropping into the northern portion of the uh, panhandle by, the north, uh, by early in the day on Thursday. But in general, it's fairly warm, not looking for any big cold outbreaks here in the short term anyway, and then windy conditions for the middle part of the week. So warm and windy for Tuesday, so mostly sunny sky, 66 degrees for the high. Southwest winds will blow 25 to 35. They'll gust over 30, uh, over close to 40 rather at times and be even a little windier for the day coming up on Wednesday. So a windy Wednesday, a windy Tuesday, a windier Wednesday is the next weather maker. Too many W's in that sentence there. Why is it so windy? Well, this is a little inside baseball here, but it's isobars we're going to talk about. Those yellow lines, watch how they get closer to each other as we go through the day on Tuesday. These are measure, measuring the pressure gradient. We'll have a trough of low pressure developed just this side of the Rocky Mountains. That's that yellow bar there, that broken bar. And then the low pressure center will deepen. Basic idea is that Mother Nature doesn't like things to be out of balance. So we get low pressure. She tries to fill up the low pressure with air from high pressure. And the stronger the low, the stronger the high, the faster the air moves, trying to fill in that discrepancy there. And so the wind blows. Early temperatures on Tuesday is pretty chilly, close to freezing or below, especially the northeastern parts of the region. Here's that seven day supercast. Windy couple of days, gust to 40 plus on Tuesday, especially midday. Probably see some gusts to 50 miles per hour, generally again out of the west or southwest as we go through the day on Wednesday. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Then the winds back down a little bit for Thursday and Friday. Fair amount of sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 50s backing down a little bit as well. The weekend not too bad. Highs near 60. It's still a little bit breezy, but not too, too much so. Monday, the computer models are suggesting a small chance for some scattered showers. Not looking for anything particularly heavy at this point, but note the temperatures go down. We go for a high of 49 degrees on Monday behind yet another cold front, and we'll see how that storm system develops and, of course, keep you posted over the next couple of days.